everyone. Hello everyone. Greetings. Hello ladies. Bonjour. I am from Greece. Slovenia. From Romania. Indonesia. Coming to you from Australia. From this paradise, Costa Rica, I say hello to everyone. Hello from the Amazon rainforest in Peru. Greetings from here to all cohorts, past, current, and future cohorts of the best program in the world. I have really fun memories about this program. Hidden No More has a special place in my heart. But my best memory is the discussions we had in Seattle. We found that although we don't have the same problems, they all stem from the same root and we can help each other and find solutions together and help lift each other up. How amazing it has been to meet this top level woman uh, who shared these simple struggles uh, with us and then I realized, okay, they, they struggle the same things we are struggling with and they did it and we can do it too. In that moment, I realized all the potential we have to change the world. I realized that I am hidden no more. Hidden no more was the best empowering experience in my life. I was part of a group of dynamic and incredible ladies who are doing uh, their best to promote science and the cause of women and girls in science. I have so many great memories of this program that I cannot pick just uh, one. Most importantly, I met a lot of really incredible and amazing women. And during our program, Pensacola team shared our childhood memories with photos and we shared how was our childhood life and our dreams and some family memories. And we know that the memory plays a huge part in how we make a sense of the world. Two years before my, my exchange, I loved my sister one year younger than me. And this uh, exchange was the opportunity to live again the sisterhood and the sorority with other women from every part of the world. It was really healing and amazing. I still remember everything from Hit and No More program. Meeting a new friend from all of the world was a great memory for me. The most beautiful thing about this program is that you can meet 50 people of different countries at the same time, which means that you can see the different culture of the world together. What will always stay with me the most is the amount of positive energy you could feel when all these 50 strong ladies were together in a room. It was really amazing and magical. One morning we were on the bus and it was someone's birthday, so we sung them happy birthday in English. Uh, someone then sung it in French and then in Spanish and I think by the time we finished we'd heard happy birthday in like seven different languages. Uh, it was really special and really awesome to sort of have that exchange of languages for somebody's birthday. I meet these girls, the 50 women around the world, doctors, engineers, teachers. I learn a lot from them and also for all the companies that we visit. Everything I learned I will teach to my beautiful coming baby girl and I will teach her to be a strong, independent woman. There are a lot of takeaway from Hidden No More 2018. One of my fondest memories about being part of the Hidden No More um, program was traveling to the various cities in America and just getting to experience the diversity that America has to offer. One memorable thing was about climate change. I discussed with people and I realized that they seem to be like disconnected about the impact of climate change. I always worry about this. Visiting Florida High School, where we went in and I found the classroom was very high tech. We found a lot of practicals, we found a lot of tools that students could use to learn. I was very proud to talk about STEM education. Uh, in Egypt, I was uh, very proud for uh, my country and was very lucky to share our experience with other countries as well. For that time, we were really able to exchange a lot of our experiences along our lives and it was like the feeling like we were having friends that I think forever. It shows that um, I'm not alone in this journey. I remember most vividly how the STEM sisters from Hidden No More program were building friendships and the hugs and some tears that were just rolling down our cheeks when we were saying our goodbyes, not knowing whether we'll meet ever again, but knowing that we have a very strong connection. 
Thank you so much. I love you all. I love you all my STEM sisters. It is a great honor to be a part of this woman team that from their own region are already changing the world. There is no limit when you pursue your dreams. Just going from the first week where we were still uh, calling each other by our country names to the final week when it was almost time for goodbye and we really felt like we'd been part of the sisterhood for years and not just weeks. Meeting such diverse personalities, but with so many things in common, is one of my best memories. And I always remember the epic selfies. Definitely, meeting such interesting, beautiful and intelligent women is my motivation to continue sharing and learning about science and technology. One of the best moments for me during our time there, we met amazing people, but uh, one of my highlights was to meet uh, Susan Goldberg the director of the National Geographic, and to be in the headquarters. That was an amazing experience for me. What I enjoyed was meeting uh, Kennel Jill in Chicago. It was very, it was a very nice moment for me because uh, she talked of different leadership styles and the challenges that she faced as a woman uh, leader in the army. Some fun experience. There have been so many, so it's really hard to pick. One of my fondest memories we were at the National Academy of Sciences at, at we meet Adriana Ocampo. I asked her to collaborate with us, and to this day, she gives talks to my students, and she participates of our STEAM program. Appreciation for the American culture and hospitality, and the, the positive uh, experiences shared by women in STEM, one of my memories about it that no more is when my peer Daniela and I were visited our American host in Pensacola, Florida. Then the host made us feel like home and we were exchanging data with friends on various topics such as gender issue or even personal life. My favorite thing in no more moment was our school visits in Orlando, Florida where we get to see uh, the STEM education system there. It was a very informative and educational um, part of the program where they actually took home some points there and actually tried to design a similar program here. Um, you know what's fun about me? Oh, I love taking care of plants. All this homeworking lately has transformed me in quite a bit of a crazy plant lady. I have been adopting some plants to keep me sane. Yeah, I'm a slam poet and also I'll be getting my bronze medallion this year in life saving. People remember me as an enthusiastic woman with lots of curly hair and of course my robots. One fun fact about me, I don't know how fun it is but it's, um, well it is actually damn fun and that is that I'm on my bike now together with my family up in the mountains of Norway. I have a lot of fun and jumping around. I'm always in a rush and I'm always catching up to deadlines including with this video. One of my favorite memories from the program is going to Disneyland and seeing grown women turn into absolute children. Our visit to Universal Studios. I am a Harry Potter fan, so when I was there, I was feeling again like a child. The opportunity to see and visit the International Space Station. It's such a dream came through for me because I work in space field. We are being followed around like celebrities. It feels good to be a celebrity. I was standing so tiny next to this huge rocket. A little girl who dreams of discovery, the secret of the stars. The lessons I've learned from the program has kind of informed the woman I am today and um, the kind of projects and jobs that I've been involved with. I would like to say that every single moment was fun and was happiness and it brought all the joy and, and energized my soul from inner to the outside. I'm Air Force officer, a space technology specialist and I represent my country in the Hidden No More 2019 program. During the H&M journey, I was doing my PhD studies in Computer and Communication Engineering at the American University of Beirut, Lebanon. I'm a science communicator and I spend my time developing and running educational programs for students and for the public. I'm the co-founder and president of CODET, the largest Romanian community for diversity and inclusion in tech. The research coordinator for partnership of Australia-Indonesia Research by the Australia-Indonesia Centre. 
author of a few children's books. I'm an astrophysicist studying black holes. And I also speak Chinese. I also have a clothing brand, clothing for hugs, because I believe that hugs build strong relationships and strong relationships will save the world. I get so inspired from the work and contribution to human health. So I recently started a master's degree in medical informatics and a PhD at the same field. I am a virologist and you can only imagine how busy I've been in the last months. Looking forward to see you. So that's all from Malta. Goodbye. Bye. Congratulations on being a genetic. See you girls. Bye. Ladies, make yourself an inspiration for the meaningful change. Always greetings. Kisses. Bye.